first trash of the day. And the trash of the day is John Doyle. John Doyle, John Doyle, John Doyle. Everybody loves John fucking Doyle. Look at this guy. Look at this. Just what a, what a, what a, what a cool fella. Living in his parents' house right now. He's moving to Texas, but I don't know if he's moving with his parents. That could be the case. Who, who knows? But that's all right. Um, he's he's got a he's got a, a a real real successful YouTube channel exposing the insane leftist hypocrisy. Um, this fella this fella right here is uh, is is a loser. Um, and how much of a loser you ask? Just a huge one. So we're gonna we're gonna keep going. Um, this guy's the the if you if you've never in, enjoyed a John Doyle, I don't know, I don't know what you're doing here. John Doyle is like um, is like wheat incarnate. Uh, I'm pretty sure if you if you get within 30, 30 feet of him, uh, he has like you'll you'll get a gluten allergy. Like you'll just you'll just adopt a gluten allergy. That's how it works. So, <laughs> uh, this is video exposing the insane leftist hypocrisy. I'm sure this is going to be fine, and I'm sure he understands what leftists are. So let's see. Let's see. <laughs> uh, let's see what this is like. Heck off, fashy. Exactly. I think John will ever finish this porn video. I hope so. Anyway, so. John Doyle. I'll tell you what, folks. I'm starting to realize something. And it might get me in trouble, but you know what? It's about time that somebody said this. Everyone wants to think about it, but I'll be the one to say it because I am... Okay, thanks. Hero Langley for the 17 months, man. ...so brave. And you think about it when you see the left calling Amy Coney Barrett a radical because she's a Catholic, but then seeing them praise Joe Biden for supposedly being so devout in his Catholic faith, you see it when every state in the country has billboards alongside the highways from the federal government asking for information about the people who occupied the Capitol... But nobody cared enough to even do remotely the same for the Antifa and Black Lives Matter terrorists. <laughs> you see it when Dr. Fauci talks about the importance of wearing masks, but then he himself won't wear one off camera. Or when these politicians talk about the importance of social distancing and locking down, but then they themselves aren't following those protocols. And it's about time that someone says it. I don't even care if I get banned for saying it because the left are a bunch of hypocrites. Wow. Wow. That was so brave. You see how fucking brave he was? I don't, man, damn, bro. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. Oh, the left are hypocrites. Oh, fuck. Wow. That was... Woo. Woo. Smash it. That was my impression of a mainstream conservative with an IQ of 104 making... Oh, fucking good. I'm so glad it was a bit. I'm so glad it was a bit. Tens of thousands of dollars Woo! each month to describe to you people via his microphone all good. of the low-hanging fruit he's picked and placed into Good. Oh, my God. Takes. Thank you. I will now revert back to myself, transition to greatness so that we can have a much-needed lesson in framing and rhetorical strategy. I thought I thought I was going to have... I thought he was slipping. I thought he was slipping. Oh, good. Oh. I really didn't want this to turn into Tucker Carlson bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Strategy for intelligence and patriotic conservatives who actually seek to conserve something. So do stay tuned. No. He's also got an ad in this at some point. I don't know what it's for. So we're going to be skipping that at some point. Aneously defunding law enforcement while the mob and dangerous criminals roam free. When the government can't or won't ensure your safety, self-defense is your only option. That's why iTarget was invented to give. iTarget. Oh, it's that stupid gun thing. Is he going to do that ad for it again? Call, no, he's not. Uh, Wonderless, thanks for following. Princess Katie Kins, thanks so much for the five gifted subs. Uh, give one to Cashel, Devin May Cry, Tomato Potato, uh, Rhett, and GDI. I appreciate that. Call, That's very kind of you. Boop, boop. <laughs> he really doesn't want to be Tucker. I think, is that the... Deductive for us. It's actually entirely... Wait, wait, where, where's the end of your ad, bro? Right here? Maybe here. From time to time to hold people accountable, or in my case, you do it to cast the widest net to appeal to the widest audience from time to time. But okay. we need to address this fixation on hypocrisy that exists exclusively on the right. You don't see this on the left, and there's a reason for that. You know, will you see the occasional occupied Democrats tear meme suddenly exposing conservative hypocrisy? Sure. Do people talk about it on social media? Sure. But I'm talking about the macro trends here, something that is much more prevalent within the right than the left in discussions. What's word? Tucker Carlson's bow ties or this dude's pizza tie? Tucker Carlson's bow tie, definitely. 
Yeah, definitely. In media and everything is this fixation on hypocrisy. And not only is it counterproductive for us, it's actually entirely symptomatic of just how bad the position that we're in is in society, in your own country. And you might be thinking, well, you know, how are we supposed to hold people accountable without calling out hypocrisy? Where are your principles? Relax, I will explain. Jesus. And if you're familiar with this channel at all. Uh, I bet it's cheaper to buy an airsoft gun and practice with that than use the shitty laser bullet thing, probably. <laughs> Well, you know that one of the things that we like to do, we like to gatekeep. We do a little gatekeeping. It's called, we do a little gatekeeping. You might know that I've been described as the CEO of gatekeeping conservatism, which is something, which is something that I'm quite proud of. Uh, we have very good reasons for that. And a lot of people like to view politics as like a hobby or something. It's just something that they dabble in on the side. I'm not going to say that's a bad thing. That's probably a lot better for your mental health. But these types of people tend to dislike gatekeeping because- Is he going to say anything that matters? Is he going to say anything that matters? Like, is he going to have a take? He just- this is like, um, you ever see that TikTok? Did you see that TikTok that went around like a couple weeks ago where someone was like, um, here, here's my impression of a, po of a podcast that doesn't have anything to say? It was just like, yeah, so, um, you know, I, I, a lot of people are talking about this and, and, and I want to make sure that I'm really, really clear about, you know, the way that we talk about this. Um, and I know that the, the climate around the discussion is sensitive and we, we here at, uh, at, uh, Cobb Save America, uh, take that seriously. So, um, what I really wanted to say is just first off, before you even get into it and, uh, 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 Cobby, if, if, if you have anything to say, please interrupt me at any point. Um, I just think it's important to have. Uh, open and honest discourse and it just goes on like that and it just they never say anything they say a lot of words but never say anything you know what i mean this is literally that right now it's it's just that's it <laughs> say something about vinyl <laughs> anyway uh he's just rambling he's just ram he's, yeah it's, it's, it's bad he's like destiny no destiny's way better at getting to the point than this guy even if destiny drops the plot halfway through his sentence uh mm, sweaty balls tone uh welcome to uh npr we have sweaty balls <laughs> uh doyle t uh <laughs> oh whoops you guys got corn today my bad uh, enjoy the cornfield. Someone asked what the, um, what the flags were today. Um, <clears throat> we have, uh, 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 of course, non-binary at the top. Uh, we have the trans flag at the bottom and we have gender fluid in the center. Um, uh, and they are beautiful together. Look at those. Those are very, that's an aesthetic goddamn set of flags today. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> anyway, we'll keep going. He's th he's four minutes in. And he hasn't said a word yet. Oops. Because they view it as akin to you know kids in the cafeteria being like, well, no, you can't sit with us. You can't join our club or whatever. I understand that. But it really does serve a purpose. And in case we need a reminder, I'll provide you a brief synopsis. In the last 60 years, conservatives have lost ground on virtually everything. We have lost so much that we're now literally on the back foot in defense of there only being two genders. Well, well, yeah, because you're wrong about stuff. It's just that's what happens when you're wrong about stuff, guys. When you're not right about stuff, you lose ground on it. That's what happens. Oh, no, the gays want to get married because they love each other. Yeah. We're going to fight that. Why? Because we don't like it. Well, you're going to lose. I don't care. Okay. <laughs> There's only two genders. Yeah, there isn't. Yeah, there is. I mean, all these people that say they're not that disagree with you. But I don't care. Okay. <laughs> like, you're just going to keep losing, bro. <laughs> I don't like health care. I don't like... I like billionaires being in control of stuff. Well, we don't... What? That's, that's not going to be a good thing. Now I'm mad the billionaires control stuff because the billionaires are against me politically. Okay, so you made your bed. Yeah, but I don't like it. Okay. <laughs> the free market has decided that people can't be on their platforms. Yeah, it's because you wanted private enterprise and free markets. And then they decided that you weren't profitable. But I, but, 
but but it doesn't matter. It's, uh, you just chose this life. You're dumb. Maybe, but you're still banned. <laughs> By the way, again, uh, as per usual, uh, banging the drum on this yet again. Um, conservatism always loses. It might take a while, and they might gain ground every once in a while, but eventually, conservatism always loses. Always. The test of time. Human beings move leftward. There may be moments where they take a step or two back, but they always collectively move leftward. And you know why? Because we get more comfortable. We get more comfortable over time, so we can start addressing new things. We've gotten to the point where I can door dash myself a fucking blooming onion. You know what I'm saying? If I can door dash myself a blooming onion, I've got the bandwidth in my life. I don't need to spend this time hunting and forging. I got bandwidth in my life to hear someone out about their gender identity. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, and, and next, as we get more comfortable, I don't know what that's going to be, but as we get more comfortable, we move. Uh, maybe we have healthcare and we have education and stuff like that. We're going to start having people be like, I want to fucking marry a robot. And we'll have that discussion. And I don't give a shit, by the way, if you want to marry a robot. As long as the robot can consent, I don't fucking care. Uh, uh, or, like, assuming it's AI. So, so do that. Like, like, and then we'll have that discussion. People will be like, why, you want to marry a robot? And someone's going to be like, yes, having to see it Centennial Man, Bicentennial Man with Robin Williams. And then you can be like, wow, that was a good movie. You're right. You're right. You're right. I would marry Robin Williams' robot, too. And then you win. You just keep winning. So this is just this is just all all that happens. Like we say first world problems a lot to like to like or we used to. Um, that doesn't really come up very much. Um, we used to say that kind of stuff. Like ah, but there's starving people somewhere. And it's like yeah, there's starving people here too. But like first world problems literally just mean we don't have other problems, so we can address the modern ones. Like we didn't have the problem of cybersecurity in the 1800s. It's a first world problem. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just, it's just how it happens. Uh, are we ever going to get tired of winning? No. <laughs> Feels too fucking good, man. Feels too fucking good, man. Hypothetical question. If you could design an AI to love you, would that be consensual? It would not be consensual because it would not be artificial intelligence. It would be programmed faux artificial intelligence. An actual artificially intelligent individual would be able to make its own decision. I hate the 52 genders point because no one talks about gender that way. There aren't a set number of genders. Gender, are, Yeah, exactly. So gender is um, literally uh, every single person has their own gender technically. Just a lot of a lot of gender stuff falls roughly under the same umbrella. And there's no point to say like, I'm, I'm gender type male 15297. Like just, just call yourself a dude. That's fine. If you don't feel like being a dude is is applicable to you. Call yourself something else and find a label that fits you and makes you comfortable. But really, how I am a man is not similar to how this specimen is a man, right? I'm much manlier than than John Doyle by my standards, and he's much manlier uh, than me by his standards. You know what I'm saying? So it's just it's just just how a thing is. You know what I mean? It is interesting. It's fascinating. Um, and how you are and how you are isn't how I am and, and vice versa or how anyone else is. Even if we identify with the same title, it's not really the same, right? I cook. That could be feminine in your eyes. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, I don't know. Uh, I'm also a, a, I'm a good cuddler. Um, I love a vagina. I'm a big fan. You know what I mean? Like, that might be pretty, like, whew, pretty femme to like, like vajayjays, in your opinion. Um... I will say, I will say, in my opinion, it's ma it's more masculine to, to to take like a big a big hog right up right up your uh, 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 consenting um, hole, whatever that is. Even if you're like, even if you got a vagina, like that's just just a lot of dick. Um, color kitten, <laughs> thanks so much for the four months. Uh, original Lila, thanks for the five hundred. Uh, I really, really, I feel really bad. Oh, smooth cobbed one, but I have not seen Crit Roll live in so long that I really... Go watch it, then. That's fine, Original Isla. I'm going to watch Crit Roll later. After stream, I usually watch Crit Roll on Thursdays. That's that's true. So, go ahead. I don't care. I appreciate uh, your support in general. Um, uh, still trying to figure out if I'm she, they, or just they, them. Um, you could be gender fluid. And maybe some days you're she, they. Maybe some days you're they, them. That's fine, too. You know what I'm saying? Um, just, you know, it it can change. So you don't have to fit. You don't have to. You don't have to put a stamp in it. Um, 
pretty sure everyone's manlier than John is, according to you, right? But according to somebody else, we're probably, like, I'm an effeminate little soy boy. I get called it all the time. Um, it's like everyone's seeing color slightly differently. True, exactly. Yeah, just be who you are. You know what I'm saying? Just be who you are. Did not you know you were a critter? Oh, yeah, I'm a huge fan. Uh, is it gay to survive a car wreck? Well, I'm triple gay then. Um, there's there is a window sticker saying no airbags. We die like men. That's just stupid. Being dumb is 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 definitely manly. All right, continuing on. <laughs> We're not winning. In the better part of the last century, the roulette wheel of conservative politics has had a house edge of 100%. Because of that, and that's not up for debate, by the way, that we're losing that badly. That's just a fact. But because of that, we don't have time for anything less than total focus and optimal strategy. We don't have time to keep experimenting with things that don't work. I don't care how fun they are. I don't care how virtuous it makes you feel. But what I do care about is winning. Like, I care about taking our country back because I'd actually like to raise a family here at some point. And given our fixation on the same failing policies and tactics throughout the last several decades, I'd like us to just take a break from pointing and laughing at the hypocrisy of the left to be collectively humbled by the knowledge that if we operate under the widely accepted definition of hypocrisy, which is saying one thing but doing the other, then conservatives are the biggest hypocrites in the history of the United States of America. Well, not only is that true, and I agree, uh, we probably agree for different reasons, uh, however, if you want to um, start a family, John, let's just go through some of the, th the things that are barriers to you having a family. Okay, Obviously, the first one is money. Uh, you and I do okay, I'm sure. I'm sure uh, we have comparable uh, income levels at a certain point. Um, although you do get demonetized quite often, so maybe it's less, but you do have like a subscription thing and you got some sick of fans. That's fine. Uh, we all have our, we all have our, uh, our, uh, fan bases, but, uh, let's just say we're, we're roughly the same. Or even if you're, even if you're well off, that's fine too. The, the criteria for you to, to have a family, of course, um, uh, is contingent on being able to provide, uh, safety and security for that person, right? Um, would you say that it's easier to have a family, uh, uh, under a situation where healthcare is provided for? Or healthcare uh, is contingent upon you paying for it, right? Um, he, I don't think he would agree with me, but uh, uh, still, just 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 by having a family, right? Which is easier to have a family under, not r irrespective of of the other stuff that you believe about it? Having access to any hospital, any doctor in any point in the United States, what you don't have to have a network. Uh, and having it available to you at, at the whole time, uh, that is obviously more ideal than having a specific network to work under and specific doctors, right? That makes it, it's, it's literally just math. Um, oh, more options, then it makes it easier to have a child. Um, and you can also, you know, what if, what if in your, in your network is your affordable choice, but it really isn't the best, like, like natal care provider. It isn't the best, like hospital. It isn't the way you want to have your child, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what if you don't have any, like, hyper-Catholic hospitals in your area? Um, which I guarantee John wants to go to. You know what I'm saying? Uh, how can you properly cope? Cope? You can change your name from John. <sighs> Otherwise, um, we will all associate you with Doyle, Trig. Um, you, can, you can also, uh, 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 you know, uh, consider that um, you, might, you might be better off if, uh, you know, Child care is a thing that you don't have to seek out, uh, and, and and rather it's something that we socialize a little bit and make sure that we have you know, we have we have we have public spaces in which to provide uh, child care for people, uh, so that they don't have to uh, go out of their way to, uh, you know you know because uh, you got you got to work nine to five sometimes you got to have you know whatever your family structure is like. Although I'm assuming he would think his wife should stay at home. Uh, I don't know. There's there's lots of things. There's lots of things like this. Um, in the in the in the event that uh, of course you say you keep losing, what if you lose your YouTube channel? What are you gonna do? Um, in the event of having a family, uh, it's not super ideal that if you lose your job, you lose your ability to survive. Um, and and I don't want that for John as much as I don't like him. I don't I don't want his kid to suffer if he ever has one. Um, and so wouldn't it be better if you had like I don't know access to public housing uh, to make sure that you could absolutely provide shelter at any point. Um, even if it's only temporary, like I know that you, you probably have parents or something that would help. Uh, they, they, they let you in their roof. Uh, I'm sure they'll let your, your wife and child or something. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, I, I don't know what your situation is, but even so, like just, just knowing that you have the guarantee of not having to be homeless, 
um, and without shelter, making sure that you have food security, stuff like that. All of these things contribute to having children. There's a reason that people aren't having children, and it isn't because there's gays running amok, and there isn't. it isn't because people are, are expressing their genders differently. It isn't because we're losing religion. The reason marriages don't happen, John, is economic strife. It's It's expensive to get married, and it's expensive to have kids, it's expensive to buy a house, and you're expected to do all these things when you get married. It's just a lot. It's just a lot for people. So, unless they just go to the courthouse and get and get fucking hitched, which isn't what most people want. Most people want that celebration. It's more about that than it is about the, the contract. Um, unless there's, like, custody involved. Like, that's the reason, John. And, and, and y- you perpetuate the fucking problem with your own shitty policies. Like, you literally need poor people to exist. We just, we're pushing for $15 an hour for, for minimum wage, uh, which, by the way, is less than it would be if it was if it was commensurate to the old-timey 1950s where you think is the good old days, according to your own fucking intro. Like, <laughs> it would be like, what, $25 an hour or something like that? Um, $22 an hour? I don't know. Uh, if it was If it was the same... Uh, you know, if, if if minimum wage had the same buying power as it did in the 1950s, um, why are you preventing people from having minimum wage? Like, it only drives all other wages up, which makes everybody else able to buy all the stuff. I, I, just wild. Just wild. I'm going to need a small loan first. <sighs> Has anyone got $1 million to start a, start a family? That's more than you need for a family, but yes. I would I would love that. <coughs> my husband and I were together for 11 years before we got married, and a year later he got diagnosed with cancer. And if we hadn't gotten married, insurance would have would have paid me to take care of him. If we hadn't gotten married, insurance would have paid me to take... What? Wait, 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 wait. That's wild, actually. That's really shitty. I'm really sorry to hear that. I hope everything's okay now. I don't know if it is, but I hope it is. That's rough. Anyway... Because we say that we're conserving America, but we've actually conserved nothing. We have nothing to show for ourselves. We are the ultimate hypocrites. It's an inconvenient truth, but it is nonetheless still truth. And the sooner we process this, the sooner we can begin to head in a positive direction. One of the first steps to this is to break free from what's referred to as the Sir Galahad theory of politics. This idea that, well, I will win because my heart is pure. I will win because I'm good and because I'm correct. It's just not true. It'd be nice if it were true, but it's not. Well, it is, but you're not ni- you're not correct or pure or whatever. Like... Like I don't know, I don't know, I don't know about the word pure. I don't, I don't really like that. But you're not correct. We, we are correct. I mean, obviously we're correct because people are like, "Hey, I just want rights," and you're like, "No, that's never the correct answer. That's never the correct answer." <laughs> if people want rights and they're just equivalent to what everybody else gets, oh. or we're trying to collectively increase all of our own rights, that is the correct answer, right? I mean, you're 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 absolutely in la la land here, uh, McCord. Thanks so much for the prime. I appreciate the five months. Maybe because of the birthday roll. I don't know what that means. That's so fucking dumb, sushi mom. I don't. I don't. That's. I'm not calling her dumb, by the way. If you read her, if you read, if you read her message, uh, that's that's fucking rough. That you got got to be the caretaker. Ugh, um, John is most likely 100 percent okay with kids in cages. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah. It's not enough to be correct. It's not enough to be good people. You actually have to put forth effort because the reality is that victory in character does not translate into actualized victory, especially if they don't even value that character in the first place. The left doesn't believe in objective morality. They don't value that. It's all subjective to them. Literally, literally, yes, it is. Morality is subjective. Yes. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> It's it's really hard to argue against people that are religious to, that, that they think... Uh, well, not really hard to argue against it, really. It's more hard to, to get them to have a, a reasonable conversation. Even more unlikely to succeed. The left believes in subjective morality. And when there is no right and wrong, because everything is subjective, virtue comes to be redefined as simply tolerance. Okay, that's so stupid. <laughs> tolerance. Um, there is right and wrong in subjective morality. Subjectivity does not mean there is no right and wrong. What? Like, subjectively speaking, our... Uh, our um, morality collectively says 18 years old is when you can consent to sex, right? In the UK, I believe it's 16. That's just a difference in morality. You know what I mean? Or it used to be 16. I don't know if it still is, but uh, it used to be. Uh, I believe Mexico is younger than that. Um, 
anyway, like, 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 it's just, it's just not, <laughs> you know what I mean? You just, you can't, you can't just like, like pretend it's not subjective. There are subjective mor- morale, morality things. Like, I don't know. Uh, circumcision is a great example of this. Like we would say that is, that is definitely immoral. And then other people would say, but yeah, but, but I believe my eternal soul is, is bound to, uh, reenacting Abraham's circumcision shit. Like, Okay, and so that's it's a very moral thing for them. It's subjectively moral. Now we you can maybe argue it's objectively immoral, immoral to take someone's like like I don't know uh, consent from them, I guess, since they can't consent to such a thing. Um, but they also can't consent to a lot of other stuff that 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 we might do um, that isn't bodily harm, but it still it still like isn't consent, right? Like. So obviously I, I agree that it's 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 shitty, but I don't think you can place objectivity onto it. It's close, but only because we need to operate in a place where where we understand each other's morality, and because we have those disagreements, we have to un- like. It's really really dumb to just to just ignore that we have these disagreements, right? And just go, well, this is objectively true based on my religion. No, 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 no. We have to actually talk about it. Because we disagree that there's objectivity involved, and so if you disagree there's objectivity involved, we we should probably just vote on it and have a collective discussion about it as a society and decide if it's okay. Like, and we have decided it's okay that gay people get married, and we're in America. We are very close to deciding that trans people are are legally equals, right? Which is what it should be, of course. UK is having a really big problem with that, but it's only like. I actually just just a small caveat. I looked into this uh, the other day. Um, I followed a tweet thread. Um, apparently, it's like sixty eight percent of the UK supports trans people. It's just that they have a really bad leadership right now. Like sixty eight percent of the of the population of the UK is either like is either like let them do what they want. I don't really care, or in the affirmative, like some some form of the affirmative of like yes, they should have rights, or like. I mean, probably they should have rights. You know what I mean? Like, you know, fence sitters. 48% were like, yes, they should have rights. There was another group that was like, yeah, they should probably have have equal rights. And then some of them were like, like I don't care. Like, let them do what they want. I'm kind of neutral. And, and then there was like a small percentage, like 26% or something, that were like, fuck trans people in the UK. It's actually su- super wild. It's actually super wild. It was. It is Turf Island because their leadership is is in charge of this decision, and, and there's a bigger percentage of the leadership uh, that is anti-trans. So it's still Turf Island. I'm just saying it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. I thought I thought the UK was like split from the population a lot more, but it's really the minority is anti-trans, and I was surprised to learn that. But. Which is which means it's a winnable fight is pretty much the point, but it's not a good situation. And we should really help the UK when we can. I want to do a mermaids thing at some point this year because they're uh, UK based uh, uh, trans allyship thing. So <sighs> uh, it was the one that H bomb uh, raised money for as well. And I believe we did we do uh, I think we did that once a couple years ago, right? I know we did trans lifeline, but did we do mermaids too, or was it just because I went on H bombs thing? I can't remember. Anyway. That's it, how tolerant you are towards someone's subjective belief system. Tolerance is right, intolerance is wrong, and this is why- No, it's not. Intolerance It's. He doesn't understand who he's talking to. It's not intolerance is wrong. I am intolerant of a Nazi, and so are leftists, and so are most people. It's not about- It's just- It's, there's, it's such a fallacy, the fallacy of intolerance. It's not real. This isn't a thing. Intolerance is not bad. It's, it's, it's what you choose to not tolerate. And what you choose to not tolerate is how someone lives their life independent of you. You're so dumb. I to call out hypocrisy, which, by the way, I don't know if you've noticed this, but anywhere you look in the realm of conservative dialogue, that's all you see. Well, AOC said this, but did this. Nancy Pelosi said this, but did this. Oh, they want to ban your guns? Well, they've got armed security. It's all you see. I don't want to ban your guns. Who is he talking about? Who, when's the last time we talk about banning all guns? Hey, Jake, big fan. Keep up the good work. Hey, thanks, man. Like, what? Wh- what? What? <laughs> uh, Quig the Chig, thanks so much for the two months. 
because it sells. It makes us feel like we're winning, but in reality what it does is expose the power structures that we're at the bottom of, and it showcases just how pathetic and lazy we are. It's the laziest flaw to call out, hypocrisy, because it doesn't require you to actually stand for something. It just requires that you're there to hold someone else to their subjectively defined standards. Doesn't matter. None of that matters. The left is bad because they want to kill babies. They want to... <laughs> They want to kill babies. <laughs> Look, uh, he obviously he means abortions. If, if you're unaware, but and I'm sure you're not unaware. But um, I mean, I mean, sure. It, it, I can respect the perspective of a conservative piece of shit that thinks we kill babies if they actually think that that abortion, uh, uh, like fetuses, are babies. I was just say abortions are babies, which is the same thing. Fuck a fetus. They're stupid. Big ups to all my uh, 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 leftists who are horny on man. Wow. Uh, uh, River Otter, thanks for the three months. Uh, it's true. I wish I could mow down a maternity ward. In Minecraft. Um, yeah, who, who gives a shit? If you want to have a baby, I want you to have a baby. That's it. That's the whole thing. If you want to have a baby, I want you to have that baby. I hope it goes well. I want you to be a, a, a great parent, and I hope it grows up to be the best goddamn person in the world. Really, truly, I want and, and as many babies as you want. All the babies. Have all the kids. Enjoy it. Parenthood can be incredibly re rewarding for a lot of people. Go do it. And then if you don't want to have a baby and you happen to get knocked up, get rid of it. Who gives a shit? Like, like, consider it at least. I, I understand. Like, make, make a consideration. Think like, well, do I have the, the ability to have a baby from a financial standpoint, from an emotional standpoint, from a maturity standpoint, from an education standpoint? Do I have any, you know, is that going to get in the way of my aspirations? Will I be happier or, more, or less happy for it? Like, like, what do I think? Like, take those students into account, sure. And then if it, if it doesn't pass the test, okay, it's your life. There's no cosmic morality here. Like babies, babies, babies are can be cool. Babies can also suck. You know, babies can suck. Babies suck. I don't want a baby. You want a baby? Is it ethical to bring a child in this world? I mean, not in a raw like ethics thing because nothing that it if something doesn't exist it can't ever suffer, right? But if something never exists it also can't get a blowjob, which is pretty dope. So, like, I'd be pretty sad if I never had one of those. So, you know what I'm saying? And that, those are pretty rad. Babies get to suck titties? Who doesn't like a titty? Name a person who doesn't like a titty. Seriously. So, yeah. I'm glad that, uh, I'm glad that I exist. I think it's a really cool thing. I think it's sort of cosmic lottery shit. We are literally particles from a universe... And we have we have through, through through the alchemy of life have have been able to 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 observe the universe as the universe. It's pretty fucking rad. It's a it's a, it's 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 wild. But also suffering is 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 a thing that people go through. So and titties are amazing. I'm so glad Titty Gang is in here. You like titties? Name all the people that have titties. Everyone has titties. I know, right? Everyone has some form of titty. I love all titties except my own dysphoria. True. Titty gang. I'm also ass gang, though. Uh, we are motherfucking stardust, baby. And this stardust gave us thick fucking thighs. <laughs> Hell yeah. Flexing your blowjob having abilities. On hey, and I also, I also like to, I like to, I like to perform as well. So, uh, it's not, you know, hey. Titty ass gang, BJ gang. Look, these are some cool aspects about life, okay? But you know what else is a great a great thing about life? Fucking mac and cheese? Petting a dog? Like snuggling a kitty? Getting your getting your toes sucked? What? No, I'm not really into that. Please don't suck my toes. I, I'm too ticklish. Take your guns away. Not my Beretta. We're going to have a problem. I didn't even plan that. I'm a genius. They want to destroy the history and heritage of our nation. That's why they're bad. Hypocrisy assumes I'm, that there's an agreed upon value framework of which care. they're in violation. What values would those be? And what values are we in alignment? Because it seems to me like conservatives volunteer themselves to these ideas of principles okay. and assuming good faith in what is effectively a prisoner's dilemma. But the left doesn't want to participate in that with you. It's not even that they claim to and then, you know, they just lie about it.
No, they're like openly trying to crush you into the ground. And so if you refuse to respond to that out of some misguided sense of self-righteousness, worry not because everyone uh -huh. knows that you're just rationalizing your cowardice to be a virtue. You're weak. You would literally be facing the wall in the MAGA hat, about to be shot in the back of a skull by Black Lives Matter and Antifa paramilitants wielding high points and AK-47s respectively. And you make a comment to the guy next to you like, can you imagine what would happen if we did this to them? So much for the tolerant left. And then you go JFK mode. What? Why is it why is it why is it always this this fucking super victim complex? It's always it's always this like the left wanting to suck on titties is literally the same as us being in a fucking work camp. Like what are you talking about, bro? People just want to live their life. I don't want it. Look, in my perfect society, right? And I now fuck that. In my society that I could get done if I was president for 8 years. Not even my perfect society. Just a society in which I had control over enough power to really affect change. Do you know what? I want you to live exactly the life you want to live. I want you to, if you want to be a Christian, go fucking do it. If you want to have a kid with your with your white wife, go do it, okay? And you want a blonde picket fence suburbs, go fucking do that. Go do it. And if, and if there's a member of the audience that is gender non-conforming and, I don't know, what, what are the things he hates? Hyperandrogynous, so he can't even tell if he needs to hate you or not. Racially ambiguous, so he doesn't know if he can say the N-word at you. Uh, 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 what else does he hate? Flamboyant, but also, like, kind of goth. Um, and you're in a fucking polycule with a bunch of other people that John Doyle it th doesn't know if he can clock or not. Like, and, and you live on a fucking commune and you shave llamas and you, and you fucking, I don't know, and you just suck, suck each other all day. I don't, I, I don't, and you're, and you do porn and you fucking, I, what else does he hate? You smoke weed all day. Um, and you, and you, and you. Don't like guns. I, I, I don't care. I don't you live that life too. That's fine. I want you to live that life. I what I don't want. The only thing I really don't want is capital gain affecting your survival. That's it. That's my goal in life. If I can separate any form of capital from your sur survival, I have done my job. That's my goal in life. That's it. I don't want you to be. I don't want you to go into debt for being sick. I don't want you to lose a shelter for being poor. I don't want you to ever, you know, not be able to get an education because you don't have familial cash. That's it. That's the whole thing. I want the government out of your life. I don't want them telling you who you can and cannot fuck. I don't care about that, John. How does that sound bad to you? How does that sound bad to you, bro? I don't get it. I do not understand. Go live your life. If you want to work in a factory, go for it, dude. But also, if you don't want to work, I'm fine with that. You just want to pursue education? I want you to do that, too. I literally want you to just go do what you want to do. Like, <laughs> why are you so sad about that? It doesn't make sense to be upset. <laughs> I don't want to be in control of anybody's life. And I don't want you to be in control, either. I don't I, I don't know what. Like, just let go of the wheel, bro. I don't know. It's, it's really wild. Uh, Non-Zero Tiger, thanks for following. <laughs> Let's talk about tolerance for a second. We sure. touched on this recently, but it's important to reiterate that the left never actually cared about tolerance, ever. But they didn't mm. have any power in society, so 100 years ago... Lit Epic, thanks for following, you know, What did they do? They employed these ideas of tolerance and live and let live, man, as a rhetorical strategy to gain a seat at the table. And now they've But I literally want you to live and let live. I literally just said that. ...taken over, and you're like, well, I find it actually rather intolerant of you to not allow me to have my seat back. And that's the biggest thing to understand. Hypocrisy is the impotent what? cry of the powerless. To cry hypocrisy is to reinforce and display the power structures in this country and reveal just how impotent you actually are. You point out the hypocrisy, and nothing happens. You don't have the power to hold them to their own standards, even if you disagree with the standards in the first place. What standard do I have that I don't live up to? Or do any of you not live up to? Like, what? Like, like just, just go fucking, just go live your life, dude. That's all I want you to do. I want you, I want you to live your life. I don't, I don't know. Think about that. 
The left rarely uses hypocrisy because they don't need to. Usually they just mobilize their societal control to demonize people. That's a lot different. That is categorically and significantly different. The left sets the narrative as this person is evil as arbitrated by our no. misrepresentation. These ideas are evil as arbitrated by our misrepresentation. Re <laughs> Why does he think evil? What is that? Do we talk like that? We don't talk like that. Who's he talking to? Act accordingly. And the right says, this person didn't do what they said they were going to do. And then the country is like, shut up. You're evil. You see the problem? We don't set the narratives. We don't have the- You don't really like corn like that? True. To cry hypocrisy implies that narratives are being set that you don't control because you are reacting to them. I do love fucking elote though. Holy shit, dude. Elote? Oh, man, look at that. Oh, God. Oh, oh, so good. So good. I'd like to say I could eat all of this, but I really couldn't. It's actually kind of heavy. Like, I could eat, like, one of these. If I'm real hungry, I could eat two of these. But, like, if anyone's ever had this stuff, it's so it's just so perfect. It's like the best street food that's ever been made. What is that? Why is that runny? That's weird. Uh, but yeah, elote, delicious. Uh, does John Doyle ever talk to real lefties? Let's be real now. Uh, he talked to me before and then he blocked me, so I don't know. Yeah, can we get copies and chat for Bobby Fino? Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. Where, 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 where's my poggers? Where'd my poggies go? What the fuck? Okay. Not my poggies, my hypers, I meant. Whatever. I'll just do poggies. <clears throat> and conservatives don't set narratives or really do anything. We simply react. Well, can you believe this? Next thing you know, they're going to do this other crazy thing that I'm not going to do anything about. They get off on hypocrisy because they know that it makes you look weak. Every time you complain about leftist hypocrisy, the frequency that you emit, the data that you emit when transcribed into purely zeros and ones can just as easily be interpreted as please have sex with my wife. And I can't stress enough how important it is for conservatives to realize this. Hey, dude, if you are into that, I want you to get that. That's okay. Hey, that's a valid kink, all right? The fact that the left did something despite saying something else can at least be respected in that they did something. Does this mean that we should lie or sacrifice integrity? Absolutely not. It simply means that we need to stop being cowards, basically. Uh, Eleron Mexico, thanks so much for gifting two tier one subs. Uh... Princess Ermine and Dev0094, you've been gifted subs. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Like, what about this could possibly get worse for you? They're already censoring you. They censored your president. and They, they censored your president. He's not the president. He's not the president. <laughs> and he wasn't censored. He was... Uh, he's got a huge platform. He still he still has a huge platform. He's an ex president. Like what? They realize that as long as they do it through private companies instead of government, both of which operating within the same coalition that is fundamentally and wholly against you, wow. then it'll be fine. Oh wow. Isn't isn't it isn't it rough that you, you reap what you sowed? Man, what a what a rough. This this is the bike stick meme every time. Every single time. It's the guy riding the bike, taking the stick, and putting it in his own spokes and flipping over the handlebars. Same shit. It's like, oh, if it isn't, if it isn't the 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 fruits of my own labor, you are the ones for for years that have been. Be you did Citizens Fucking United, bro. Where corporations are considered people. That was y'all. Like what? What the fuck, dude? <laughs> like. They get to do that. You chose that path. They literally get to, like, you decided on private ownership. You caused this. You continue to support it even though you don't like the thing. Why? Leftists have been telling you since leftism has been a thing that guess what? We could just make a public enterprise to do that same thing and then it would be, you know federal and thus it would be a form of free speech as as the constitution declares like if you want this kind of stuff what i strongly suggest is you go hard anti-capitalism get rid of lobbying get get all other money out of politics uh set set harder term limits for people 
um, really try to not, you know, let Donald Trump do the stuff he did and then enforce emoluments clauses? Like, like have the dignity to do the things necessary to get what you want out of this. But everything, all your actions say, yes, daddy, please step on me. Daddy, in this case, being corporations. Like, why, like, I don't understand. It's like, it's like, uh, it's like an addiction. It's like a heroin addiction. You know that you're just going to get stomped on, even, like, daddy billionaire is going to smash your balls under the boot, and you say you don't want it, but you keep coming back? Just don't do it. If I were you, I would simply become a leftist. That's what I would simply do. Ambiguous Samus, thanks so much for the 10 months. You, you love Charisma Samus? Thank you so much. It's the thing I'm most proud of. Thank you. Because you'll be too entrenched in your think tank principles to do anything about it. I'll give you an example. Some people who self-identify as conservatives will say, well, you know, we shouldn't teach our kids to love America because that's indoctrination and that's what the left does. And it's like, buddy, do you not love America? Do you not acknowledge that American history is spectacular and worthy of appreciation? Well, of course I do. I just don't like the idea of being told what to think. And it's like, yeah, I get that. But there comes a time when you really just have to abandon this whole question everything. Er, I'm a free thinker. Er, like that whole mentality and just grow up. So, so John Doyle's version of grow up is succumb to American propaganda. Okay. That's pretty, how's that, how's, how's that like a grow up moment? Y you know what I like to do? I'm just going to give up the fight against critical thinking and I'm just going to, I'm just going to go with the whole uh, George Washington cherry tree myth, wooden teeth, stuff like that. Uh, actually, his teeth were uh, often made out of slave teeth. George Washington was a ghoul, uh, and that's a true story. Um, he had ivory as well. Um, <laughs> fucking loser. Uh, Doyle out here repping rage in favor of the machine. <laughs> um, what do you love America for? Like, what's the point? What do you What do you like about America, John? Do you like the idea of America? Like, you like the, you like the, you like the aesthetic of red, white, and blue, and like the the military and and cops and and hot dogs and Fourth of July explosions, and like that's kind of it. Or, or do you like it for the reason that I like America? Do you know why I like America? Do you want to know why I like America? Here it is. I like the fuck. I like the people, and I want the people inside of America to have a dope life, and that's 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 like the whole thing. I want them to to not not you know have to worry about uh, bankruptcy when going getting sick. I want them to have food security. I want them to live their best life and and be who they are, and uh, not worry about their interactions with fucking law enforcement. Uh, I want them to be able to uh, pursue families if that's what they want to do and not pursue them if they don't, with no stigma attached either way. I want someone to be able to smoke uh, 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 the, the jazz tobacco without going to prison, and I, want, uh, and I want prisons to not be incentivized to keep those people there. I want a situation where uh, uh, we have clean water and, and, and green energy and uh, public transportation and, uh, and, and really fast internet and uh, free blowjob day. These are all things that I want for you guys. Um, you know, I just, I just, legal jazz, cabbage, yeah, that'd be great. Um, uh, you said Teddy Roosevelt was a horrible president, uh, in a previous stream. I know he was racist, but I thought he was progressive in other ways. Well, he was progressive for 1912. You know? Zero streaming. Thanks for the hundred biddies. John is probably the only person who watches They Live and thinks Roddy Piper is the bad guy. Oh, boy. Um, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Americano for Joseph? What'd you really put in that cup? Uh, how do I know caffeine isn't just a placebo? Uh, what do you think it costs more to distribute? A drug that makes you energized? Or propaganda commercials that show people energized after supposedly taking the drug? Wait, what? Is he is he making a joke about how caffeine might not actually do caffeine things? I think it might do. I I don't know. Is is he a caffeine truther? He's making fun of Q. I don't know. I don't know what that means. I don't know. 
I don't know what Q does. Does is Q anti caffeine? I don't actually know. Anyway, I'm a free thinker because it's like I've been a fan for years. I met you and Hannah in East Texas at a Conyers. That was fun. Uh, my now ex-wife, now my girlfriend, and I watch you every day. Hell yeah! Upgraded to the cool girlfriend. Downgraded from poo poo ex-wife. Uh, I remember East Texas. Hopefully it was a good time. Um, I remember a lot of faces from there. And I remember we fucking killed it on stage. Uh, uh, we did a live Chick Track reading in East Texas uh, a few years ago. And um, uh, it was a really, really fun time. Really, really good time. We did a few live things. Uh, sure, we know some historians caution against presentism. Uh, pr- presentism? Uh, well, even for the time, he wasn't, he wasn't a good person. He was expansionist. He was, he was, uh, very, very heavily anti-Cuban. And we can talk about Teddy Roosevelt another time, but I mean, he was, he was, he did good things for like, like national parks and shit like that. But the dude was a fucking murderer. Um, there's no presentism involved with the fact that he fucking slaughtered people. Um, (laughs) anyway. Should you question everything? Yeah. But you reach a point where it's time to stop asking questions and just acknowledge reality. This is why conspiracy theories are so popular nowadays. People are supplementing for their lack of intelligence and personality by just deciding that which is most interesting to them must be the truest reflection of reality. And they're always the least interesting theories. And the worst part is that the conditioning is still there, invariably. And the whole question everything mentality is purely to supplement for the fact that they're just like not that interesting and they don't have agency. You'll get coffee with a girl and she'll be like, I think the moon landing was fake. And you'll be like, oh yeah, really? I have a flash drive in my backpack with files on it that can, I won't say that, I won't say that, but you know, you'll say what? Something like, okay, yeah, or what if every copy of Super Mario 64 was personalized? And they'll be like, no way, that's crazy. You're crazy, or actually, no, perfect example. What? Is he just saying stuff? Are these memes that are only in his specific, like, like, social group? Go ask the person you know who loves conspiracy theories. They just love them. Go ask them what they think about the lockdowns and COVID. Watch how quickly they go from, OMG, (laughs) Epstein like didn't kill himself, to what's wrong with you? The science is settled, experts! And they just melt down because these people just do whatever the narrative tells them. They're like the mom who's always trying to like keep up with her kids and you know, the trends who always just is trying to be cool, except what's cool to them is being a slave to the system. And the system allows for little things like, ooh, what if the government is talking to aliens? Ooh, what if the Illuminati is referenced on the $1 bill? So this is just Q stuff right now? Try going against the grain. See what happens to you. Try going against the social trends and against the narrative. Try asking your friend with the question everything sticker on their laptop if they question the media's reported cause of death for George Floyd. Got off track here. These are two separate types of people we're talking about here. So, I'm sure you've heard it, um, but the whole George Floyd thing, uh, John Doyle thinks that heart attack... Um, is is cause of death? Do you think? Do you think, John, um, that that he would have just had that heart attack without that interaction, or no? Like, like what? <laughs> we saw. We just watched it happen. We watched the video. Like, I don't. I don't know. I don't, I, he died like r- literally right there with the interaction. Even if he died from a heart attack. Um, which, by the way, uh, uh, can can happen if you are uh, under a, an incredible amount of stress trying to fight for your life and dying. Um, yeah, your heart, surprise, uh, will, ha- will, will spasm. Isn't that weird? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it it's, 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 seems to be pretty, pretty fucking like the catalyst for his death, my dude. Fucking stupid ass. Stupid ass. Right now we're talking about the average person who doesn't really have agency, they just respond to social trends and narratives, and who quite often uses this idea of question everything to cope for that fact, which is probably subconsciously realized, or at least to supplement for a lack of real personality or insight. But first we were talking about the person who just doesn't like the idea of, say, teaching kids that they should love their country because the left are the ones who indoctrinate. Here's the thing. First of all, if you don't push back against the indoctrination that they're already doing and will continue to do until you push back, your kids 
kids and grandkids won't even have a country to live in. That's number one. Number two is, what do you mean what? Simply that if American history were just taught objectively, that would be sufficient. We're not talking about constructing these elaborate narratives like, oh, George Washington called an attack nuke to win the Revolutionary War, which is why we've cemented it as a staple of American culture. We're just acknowledging the fact that if American history were actually taught to our children, then they would learn about the brutality of America in its creation and how that uh, and <laughs> and how and how we should probably be conscious of the of the awful things that this country has done in the name of freedom for its land, white land owning men. If we actually taught American history, you know, the thing I studied, maybe they wouldn't love the country, but they certainly wouldn't hate it. I who hates America that lives here? Like who who hates it? So you hate things about America, but it's unlikely you hate America because usually when you say when like people he's describing, you also are saying like I hate what America does in this scenario, but you don't necessarily hate America be, because you're trying to make it better. Making something better isn't hating it; it's loving it. It's caring about it. Like, you didn't care about it. You just fucking, you, you, you try to leave or, or you'd, you know, not advocate for change. You'd just be like, fuck you. You fucking trash. And there's some people like that. But most people that say, I hate America, uh, not only is that a minority of people, but uh, it's, it's, it's not, it's, 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 you hate aspects of the place. Can't remember, was John thus far off the deep end before the election? Oh, yeah. Uh, John would totally want his children learning about what Jefferson did to Sally Hemings. Oh, I'm sure. Um, look, loving America is is criticizing America. And, and, I, and I'm not even, I wouldn't even consider myself like a nationalist e at all. Like, like uh, my patriotism extends only to the people within this place. Like, that's the only thing I care about. The borders are meaningless to me. The shape of the nation is meaningless to me. The name we are under, the flag, none of that means shit. I, I, don't, I don't care about it. The history of it is interesting to me, but it isn't important. We could drop that to, yes, tomorrow, today, and we could change everything about it as long as it's for the better and makes people happier, I, I don't give a shit. I'm not bound to it. I'm not, I'm not, it's not an anchor for me. It's literally just, just, just points of data and facts about what people who lived on the same land mass used to do. And then we can, we can go from there. Like I have the constitution on here for a reason. It's not just because I like to use it for gotchas. I've had this since I was in college. I've written in it. I mean, this I, I read it sometimes when I'm not on stream. If I just like have a question about something when I'm thinking about politics, like I actually care about this shit. Like I actually want everybody to to like to like have a good life. That's what if if, if you want to call that patriotism, cool. I'm 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 fine with that. But it's more populism. Like I'm. It's, it's irrespective of the country. In fact, obviously, I want this for all people. I can only affect what we have in the country, though. Like, I don't, I don't understand why, why that's that's so hard to grasp from 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 a conservative perspective. It's really weird. And at the very least, they would respect it. Whereas now, what happens is, at the very least, they take it for granted, and in most cases, they hate it or think it's evil. No. Thus illustrates the power of narratives. N I, he, I don't know who he's talking to. I don't know who he's talking to. Has he talked to a leftist at all besides me? Am I the only leftist he's ever had a conversation with? And then he blocked me immediately? Like, what? Like, like just talk, actually have a conversation with a leftist. Say, do you hate America? And I'll say no. Of course not. There are aspects I really dislike and would like to change, but is that bad? Like, is it bad to want to change things? I know he's a conservative. Maybe he'd say yes. Star Saber, thanks so much for the follow, dude. And I know I've painted a relatively bleak picture, but there's actually two points of good news here. Let's Firstly, that if we ever get to set the narratives, we won't even have to lie to do so. That's kind of cool. Secondly, and this one might sound weird, bear with me. A majority of the people who voted for Joe Biden would have voted for Trump if the right controlled the narratives. See <laughs> what? 
Seriously, think about that. These are people who I don't really think for themselves, True. who just kind of go with the flow, react to the trends in society so that they're perfectly aligned with them. And if the right were in charge of setting those trends, and if we did so more effectively, those types of people would come over to our side. No. Guaranteed. No, your policies are bad, John. What are you talking about? It's not. <laughs> Look, we talk about branding all the time. There is no way to brand properly that will get across to leftists, I want privatized health care. It just isn't a thing. It's not a thing. You can't brand that properly. You can't communicate that properly. You can't propagandize your way into into my, my fucking wheelhouse by saying, yeah, you know, I think we should just uh, privatize health care. That's not, that's not how things work, bruh. It just isn't. Shit's so fucking dumb, dude. Because you can't expect everyone to do the levels of research that we do, to follow the stuff as closely as we do. And Frank, what do you mean research? He can't even read statistics. We saw that in our debate. What? They even care about the stuff as much as we do. And like, yeah, it's important, but honestly, it's not the most pleasant lifestyle. And so people need, people actually deserve even to live in a society that doesn't try to brainwash them into hating that society, but rather one that simply presents the information. Very basic stuff. That's literally what we want to do. What? What? This is literally what people on the left say we should do. There are good things America has done. There, there's cool things that America has done. It, it, it's, 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 there's <laughs> like, I don't know. Even, even sometimes when they're bad things, they're good things for some reason. You know what I mean? Like bad things can beget good things. Good things can beget bad things. It's it's just, it's a mixed bag, as human beings tend to be. Like, I don't know, the way that we organize our democracy is pretty cool. It's 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 not similar to, to most other places. A lot of them have parliamentary systems, which aren't as good as, as, in my opinion, as electing your representatives. Of course, the way that the United States does it is a little fucky, so... Uh, we just have to. We just have to worry about that. Yeah, I've debated John, and then he blocked me immediately. Um, like after, right after that, he he blocked me. It was uh, not surprising. Um, you you missed it because you weren't here when I did it. That's that's how. Um, yeah. So uh, uh, it's on it's on YouTube, bro. You guys gotta check out the YouTube, man. What are you doing? Um, <laughs> Uh, anyway, we can just keep going. I, I, fucking. America's actually good. America should actually be put first. Families are good. Um, it should be aspired to. Vices are bad. Our culture is exceptional. Our history is exceptional. Don't, that's, pro that's propaganda. You just, you just said you didn't, you wanted people to meet the facts already, but you're giving your opinion. Vices are bad. What vice is bad? What's a bad vice? What if my vice is to drink water? Like, what if it's just like something I need to do a lot? Drink a lot of water. Make sure I'm make sure I'm real big, big on the water vice. You know what I mean, man? Like, and what is a vice? Of course, is a vice only a thing that has to be bad? Well, what if I think it's a good thing? So, so I think your vice for religion is bad. What about that? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, does a vice only have to be an ingestible like chemical? Weed is bad. Okay, maybe. I mean, like, like, what, is, what does that make? Like, I don't exercise. What if you, yeah, what if you exercise habitually? Like, is that is that a vice? Probably. Like, but it's only a vice if it's if it's like conceived as poor. But again, beholden to who? <laughs> gambling might be a vice. Sure. What if you're what if you're really good at gambling though? Uh, <laughs> is it a vice if it's just your job? I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't know. Immoral or wicked behavior, and then you have to define what immoral or wicked is, of course. And then, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, anyway. Benevolence is exceptional. It's benevolence is exceptional. Except your benevolence is, is not, it doesn't extend to trans and, 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 and LGBT people otherwise. We're not fine. talking about lying about the issues, lying about our rank in the world as it pertains to different metrics. No, we're just trying to stop the country from committing suicide by telling the truth. But we can't tell the truth if we don't have the power to do so. There's a reason why they don't want you to have that power, why they're shutting you down. 
They can't afford to give you back that seat at the table because ultimately truth and good will win, but only if they are given the chance to do so. And so as long as we subscribe to this idea of, well, who gets to decide what's right and wrong? Who gets to decide what's true or not? We're going to lose forever. And honestly, to me, that sounds a lot less like a guy who's trying to get to the bottom of things and more like a guy who doesn't really believe in himself or anything at all, which I guess I can understand given the state of things, but we don't have time for that anymore. Figure it out. The Rock says, know your damn role. It's basically as simple as working to make yourself the best and most virtuous person that you can be, working your way up whichever ladder you prefer, and then waiting to use that power that you've obtained for good. Mm -hmm. And if you don't like that, just be honest with yourself at least, because it's probably not that you don't like the idea of figuring out what good is. It's probably because you just don't like the idea of climbing the ladder because that actually requires work on your part. What does that even mean? Climbing which ladder, dude? Which ladder are you trying to climb, my guy? <laughs> okay. Whereas noticing the difference between AOC's rhetoric and behavior and pointing a finger and laughing as though you've saved the West doesn't really require anything. Okay, buddy. Uh, so I guess I, John needs to, needs to take some time to, to define terms because he's really bad at it. Uh, he... he he very often will will talk about like, oh, this is good or this is bad. Okay, what's good in your opinion? What's bad in your opinion? Like, what what are the literal defining those terms? Because sometimes he, of course, doesn't take into account like someone's, you know, your yuck could be someone's yum. You know, I don't know. I don't know why you gotta. I don't know why you gotta like worry about that. Did he ever say liberal and mean left? No. No, he didn't. Uh, although, he didn't explicitly say that, but he, he meant it the whole time. <laughs> uh, heard the sigh of an LGBTQIA person in need, uh, like a bat signal in the night. You called. What corn I, what corn I help you with? <laughs> You corn, uh, 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 you guys could, um, look, if, if you guys want to drop a thousand subscribe subscriptions, that's fine too. That's, that's fine. You know what I mean? You know, that's what you corn helped me with. <laughs> yeah, but as Grift is saying, propagandize hyperbole and filling the gaps, uh, with those undefined terms. Uh, so that it can be agreeable to all the contradictory factions of the right. I mean, maybe. Good call, baby bird. Uh, Good call. Eleron Mexico, thanks so much for giving one to non-binary superpowers. Uh, I got accepted to the Victory Institute's candidate training program to start next week. Hell yeah. Enjoy it. Let us know how it goes. You got I. You gotta hope I don't ever make a shitload of money because you will be absolutely fuckered here. <laughs> I'll take it. So corn skull for decorations? For decoration, a corn skull. What? Um we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna have a whole setup in here at some point. You'll see. Um I don't know if I've ever won a prediction. Well you might. <clears throat> so that's the end of the video. Um I guess. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much my my, my my takeaway from John Doyle in general is this. He is your dumbest friend's smart friend. Yeah. He doesn't really understand anything, but he is good at talking. Uh, he just says words. Uh, not a lot not a lot of it means a whole lot of things. He's just, he just sort of like goes through the motions of saying words. I know he has opinions and he has some pretty strict opinions about like being hyper conservative, but most of the time he just sort of like vaguely gestures at 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 things. It's I don't know. He he's I, I don't know if he's trying to avoid a ban or something like that, but but it it, it always comes across as like he doesn't really he doesn't really have like a, a real thesis in in, in mind uh, when he starts when he starts espousing his beliefs, and he definitely definitely does not understand what a leftist is. He just doesn't. So thanks for watching the old the old the old John Doyle with us in this pizza tie.